Hello everyone, Jeff with The Green Review. Like I'm always telling everyone, tour your landscape at least once a week, look for new things that might be out of place. So if you come across one of these things growing on your plant, you might be wondering what in the world it is. And we have the three choices, the insects, the diseases, and everything else. This looks like a gall because it's growth on the stems of the plant, but it doesn't look like it's plant tissue. And so in this case, a little more research, you'll find that this is actually the praying mantis Oothika, which means egg case uh, or ovary in an ancient Greek. So this is an egg case for a praying mantis. It's not harmful. It's just neutral. Now, in fact, praying mantises in our landscapes are not beneficial. They're just neutral. They eat any insects. They eat beneficial butterflies, honeybees, and um, ladybugs, just as much as they would eat a stink bug or a Japanese beetle. So they're not a beneficial insect. So a lot of people want to get the egg cases so they can release praying mantises in their landscape thinking they're going to control insects. They really don't do a very good job at that. They're going to eat beneficial insects just as much as harmful ones. So don't bother doing that. Now th this is probably the egg case for a Chinese uh, praying mantis. They are a different shape than the other egg cases. And we have a lot of Chinese um, praying mantises in the United States because they have been brought over and released because people thought they might be able to eat uh, bad insects. So we do have a, a, a problem by having a lot of Chinese praying mantises in the United States. We also have European mantises and Mediterranean mantises and others. Out of about 2,500 species worldwide, only about 20 species live in North America, and of those, several are from other parts of the world. And they do cause harm to our native beneficial, well, neutral um, praying mantises. The Carolina mantis covers most of the eastern uh, three-fourths of the United States. There's uh, uh, California mantis. There's uh, some definitely some native ones that we would like to keep. And so if you see a praying mantis, uh, the largest ones, the three to five inch long ones, are going to be the Chinese ones. They are green or brown. They have a green stripe down the side of their wing. The Mediterranean praying mantis is greens or browns, but it has a black and white bullseye on the inside of the forelegs, and it's about three inches long. The native Carolina mantis is only two to two and a half inches long and is kind of a mottled gray, brown, and green. Uh, it's not like solid colors like the others. And the females of the Carolina mantis, when they're fully grown, the wings are not fully developed and they don't fly. The males fly just fine. So depending on what you find, you may have a native mantis or an exotic mantis. Now, a lot of people think that the praying mantises, uh, eat, the females eat the males. Um, that was the case in some uh, enclosed studies in laboratories because the females weren't being fed very much and they were in a small uh, location rather than being out in nature. So it's probably not the case that the uh, females eat the males. They may, but it's not normal the thing that they would do. So um, a lot of things we think of when we hear about praying mantises, we think they're interesting insects, uh, but a lot of things we know about them are actually wrong. So what's this mean to me? If you find a praying mantis and it's a beneficial one, well, neutral one, a native one, go ahead and, and leave it. If it's an exotic one, you may want to kill it, but um, most people, of course, are not going to do that. And if you find the egg cases, like in this case, and you want to like, bring it home because you'll have an insect in your yard that'll uh, be a beneficial insect, don't bother. Just um, if it's a, a non-native, you can kill it off if you want to, or you can just leave them out in the uh, areas that you find them. And this is Jeff for The Green Review. Thanks for watching.